storytelling in the music industry. Yeah, sure. No, cool, but it, I, only if I can talk about Taylor Swift. Storytelling in the music industry. There are several ways you can go about it. You can look at the actual history of the artist or the performer of the band, for example. So you can make something like a documentary. Um, a very big but very good example would be Homecoming by Beyonce. And I mean, I did say I want to talk about Taylor Swift, so there is Americana, uh, Miss Americana, rather, also on Netflix. Another type of documentary, because those two examples are videos, there's another way of doing that. There is a biography about Jay-Z that is called Jay-Z Decoded, and that was a huge big transmedia storytelling project, so it was interactive. That might be a more easy way of saying it. Um, so you could go out into towns where Jay-Z lived, where he performed, um, that formed him somehow, and you could find parts, pages, um, sentences from his biography uh, on location. So like woven into people's t-shirts or printed on uh, the floor of the basketball court where he played, you know, those kinds of things. Um, so the interactive aspect would be another cool way of doing a documentary, but in a less um, well-known shape, so in a more surprising form. If you're not into keeping it real, you could go for fiction or fictionalized. The movie Yesterday from last year by Richard Curtis, um, which is an account of what the world would look like if we didn't remember the Beatles songs. If we had lost all music by the Beatles, what would the world be like? So that is not a biography of the Beatles at all. It's not a, a real-life film, but through fiction, this movie really talks about the cultural phenomenon that the Beatles are. And when you say fiction and music industry, there is, of course, a genre or, or a form of communication that is very well known the world over, the music video. You can create music videos for your artists to um, promote them uh, with fictionalized content. So just go by their songs and invent a narrative around that. Whatever form it takes, uh, there are many different angles you can choose. And here are four for your inspiration. You can tell the story of the artist. So that would be like the, the Miss Americana homecoming approach. You can tell the story of a song. That would be more like the music video approach, but you can do that in other media and other forms as well. You can tell the story of a career highlight by the band, by the artist. Or you can talk about the audience. They might have a very special bond to the artist, to the music, uh, and it would be a very good thing to tell the world like how much this music or this artist means to other people. Whatever form or angle you use, you have to make sure that it's an interesting story, that it grips the audience, that people want to keep reading or listening or watching. How do you do that? Well, you have to make sure that it is a dramatic story. And by that I don't mean that everybody needs to cry all the time, but there has to be some development. The main character should have a problem of some kind. This could be with someone else, it could be with a something beyond their control, and the rest of the story is about how they're going to try and solve this problem. Most of what we've talked about here, or what I've talked about, ha, is content. There are, of course, other factors that you should think about. Medium, for example, the technology. How are you going to tell your story to the audience? Is it going to be a video like this? Is it going to be a written article? Is it going to be something like a podcast? How are you going to tell your story to the audience? Uh, so really work with your medium. Think about how your medium works. I'm not making this lecture two hours long because no one's going to watch it otherwise. Kudos for watching this in the first place. Um, so think about how it works, how it reaches your audience. And that, of course, is another thing to talk about, or maybe the third thing, content, medium, audience. Who are you going to reach? Who are you trying to reach? Think about them. What, what channel are they on? What platform are they on? Are they on YouTube, Vimeo, Instagram, TikTok? Where are they? Try and reach them there. So while I realize this is a super brief online lecture, almost more like a bullet point list, uh, I hope it's useful to you in streaming emotions because everybody watching who is not studying yet in Holland and doing streaming emotions right now. This is my target audience. Um, I hope it's useful to you. Let me know. You can always email me at work or you can ask your questions in the comments below uh, and I'll answer them.